What is up? I'm Water Turtle, and today we're going to be going over some of the new cards that were leaked for Sword and Shield due out in February. Yesterday we did 10 Pokemon that stood out to us. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. Today we're going to hit another, I don't know if it's not 10. There are some reprints that we just were notable, so, so let's get right into it. We're going to be looking at is Regirock. So reminder, V is basically the new GX. When they do get knocked out, they take two prizes. And uh, the important thing, if you missed yesterday's video, these cards are in English, which means I'm pretty sure that that means that the releases are going to be synced between Japan and and the U.S. So there's not going to be like, oh, Japan gets it like three sets, and then we get all of it later on. But so let's take a look at Regirock coming in at 220 HP. This guy is not that complicated. He's pretty simple. Uh, but anytime you do have a Pokemon with a lot of HP and a Outrage ability, Raging Hammer, 30 plus 1 damage for every damage counter you have. Um, this basically puts your opponent in an awkward situation. It's like, you need to take me out. You need to one-shot me. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. I'm going to deal tons of damage. Uh, I feel like actually that was happening quite a bit with Reshizard. Sometimes you can put your opponent in awkward position today with Reshizard in that regard, where it's you have to one-shot it or Outrage is just going to. The crackback is going to be not worth the damage. And then we also have Rocky Tackle for 3 energy, which does 190. This does 90 damage to yourself. You know, I'm wondering if you can just, uh, let's say you you take, you uh, your opponent knocks out your active, you throw out Regirock, and then you do 190, hopefully knocking them out, and then, yeah, you only have 190 left. But if they can't do that, which that's a good amount of HP, you know, your crack back is probably going to knock out whatever they toss out next. So I feel like Regirock V is not the most exciting thing, but I feel like it's going to be effective. Next, we're going through some of the new supporters and trainers. We're gonna start with Professor Magnolia. Pretty straightforward card. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. Super strong. And one thing I just wanna note is that there's no shuffle here. It's not like discard, there's no shuffling because you don't shuffle, it's not like Cynthia where you shuffle the rest of your hand. Um, you know, I think sometimes I, I'm not a big fan of like discarding cards just cause like, oh, what a waste, but uh, it's, you know, seven cards, you can't argue with that, you know, just that pure card draw. Uh, just refresh your entire hand, doesn't matter where you start. Um, this thing's definitely gonna be really good, and there are tons of cards out there that want stuff in the discard to interact with it. So Professor Magnolia, going to be very strong. And we're moving on to Marnie. <laughs> I think Marnie's my favorite from Sword and Shield. Um, over Nessa and over Sonya. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm really excited to see what the full art Marnie's gonna look like. But uh, let's take a look at this card. Both players shuffle their hands without looking at looking and put them at the bottom of their decks. Then you draw five cards, their opponent draws four. So this thing does all a lot of stuff packed into one card. Um, so first off, it affects you and your opponent, brings them to four, which is kind of like kind of like N in a way, but it just like it's locked at five and four. So you do get a little bit of card advantage over your opponent. You re you uh, refill your hand to five, just helps you cycle through your deck. Uh, one interesting thing, and remember, remember Professor Magnolia, you don't there's no shuffle, neither is here. So let's just say your opponent did a bunch of tutoring, got a lot of cards in their hand, but they weren't able to play them. Well, guess what? You can put them all at the bottom. Same thing for yourself, though. And it's like, you know what? Until you can make yourself shuffle, you will not be able to see any of those cards. So I feel like that could be a very interesting effect that could be very relevant. And all that, it's just a good way to cycle through your deck and your opponent to disrupt your opponent's hand. So Marnie, I think, is going to be relevant and super excited for the full art. What else we got? Evolution Incense. Super simple card going to be super strong in my opinion now one thing i'm not sure is if a v max pokemon is a evolution pokemon i think the card does say that it evolves from like lapper's v or uh, meowth v so i think it is evolution i'm not entirely sure if that is that's amazing even without that you know there's tons of really strong evolution cards out there that are non-v and i think this thing is just like a free tutor it's like cherish ball basically so this card is very strong and i like it in fact like i think this thing would actually work for gx's um like ev evolution gx's too so another bonus perk there next we have fine band on the surface, this card sounds super boring and underwhelming, but I think this thing will be better than, kind of like it comes off initially. 
And the reason for that is I feel like there are a good amount of times where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm just one damage short where like these cards are good, but they just don't hit the right numbers. And it, it's a big detriment to the deck. Um, Fine Band could just be that little tweak you need to make some things really nice. Um, I feel like one example is uh, when Reshizard and when Pikaram was was still around, when Reshizard was, when, well, Reshizard was still around, but when both of those guys in their heyday, it's like, oh, um, Flare Strike, 230, but one shy of knocking out a Pikaram in one go. Um, I feel like there are other examples. Anything that could do 270, like 280 is such a perfect number because a lot of Pokemon can get to that 270, but then just leave your... Um, your Nuzgas or your Reshiram at one HP, and something like simple as a Fine Ban, or just like, all right, that's just that one damage you need, and now you're good to go. So Fine Ban un sounds underwhelming, but I think it'll actually be useful. All right, here we have a bunch of reprints. Uh, one of them is not a reprint, but it's it's basically a reprint, although it's technically a different card. Uh, Pokemon Catcher, and these are just really strong trainers in my opinion. Uh, Pokemon Catcher, flip a coin. If heads, swap out your opponents. You know, no discard. No, you don't need you don't need two of them. Just uh, fifty percent chance to just swap your opponent's active Pokemon. Crushing Hammer. I think it's still legal today, and like you know, almost gives me like PTSD from like Pidgeotto Prison decks. Was like. Oh my gosh, I can't do anything. Uh, this is so boring. Uh, so Crushing Hammer's not going anywhere. Flip a coin, if heads, discard energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Team Yell Grunt, the supporter version of it. Same thing as I think they're like the Team Skull Grunt. Maybe there's a Rocket version as well. And then Great Ball, search, uh, look at the top seven cards of your deck, find a Pokemon, add it to your hand. All stuff that I think is very strong that is basically coming back. Here we have the Meowth VMAX. Oh man, the uh, the art is so ridiculous. Uh, that thing was so funny when they first announced it in Sword and Shield. But yeah, when was the last time there was a good Meowth Pokemon card? Like sure, there's some okay Persians, um, but never, I'm not sure when the last time a Meowth was. And let's just take a quick look. This thing's pretty good. Balls from Meowth V, obviously 300 HP. So this thing will take a couple hits almost always. And it only has one attack. I feel like the V-Maxes are very simple, which I don't mind. Um, V-Max or G-Max Gold Rush for 200 damage, 4 energy, draw 3 cards. This thing will take multiple hits. Hits pretty hard, keeps your hand super stocked. I feel like super simple and I like it. Alright, this thing sounds incredible. NDDV. Psychic type coming in at 180 HP. That's pretty good. A really, or a eh, pretty good ability that uh, doesn't do a whole lot, but you know, that will help over time. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from opponent's active Pokemon. If you run multiples of these, I see no reason why you can't use it more than once. So that stuff will definitely stack and at some point it'll become super annoying. But this is not just a bench warmer Pokemon. If this thing gets goes in the active, this thing will do damage. Psychic, 10 plus, 60 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Even some of the super strong ones like that Meowth V or V Max Pokemon, like where you need four, this thing's gonna be doing 250 damage, a V Pokemon. So this thing is packs quite a punch. It is Psychic to colorless, so you'll need at least two energy cards on there but still super strong. All right, we went through uh, two of the other stage two starters and now here is Cinderace uh, coming in stage two, obviously 170 HP, very cool ability and attack. So actually we're gonna hit the attack first. Flare Striker, not to be confused with Flare Strike. <laughs> 190 damage, discard two energy from this Pokemon. A very classic fire effect where you discard energy, but its ability libero just makes it super flexible once during your turn when this pokemon moves from your bench to your active spot you may attach up to two fire energy cards from your discard pile to it that's amazing let's say you have score bunny you rare candy this thing on your bench and you have something like a jirachi in active you have two fire energy in your discard boom flare striker next turn if you don't get knocked out switch to that that zero retreat cost and then switch back boom another flare strike 190 damage every turn that is ridiculous and it has its own built-in ramp it just needs to do that um switch it's different than 
things like Heatran, like Tapu Koko was, where you needed the energy on your bench and you can move it to them when you move to the active, it's even more flexible. Just to me, it needs to be in the discard pile. How do we get stuff in the discard pile? Like that Professor Magnolia, perfect example where, hey, I actually want to discard cards. Refill my hand, Syndrace, boom, 190 damage. Non-V Pokemon, non-V Max, very strong stuff. Uh, all three of the starters, I feel like um, the Intellion is kind of like the middle ground where it's kind of like you need to finesse everything else is just brute ramp or this one's brute strength. So a lot of cool stuff going on with the, uh, the new starters in Sword and Shield. All right, and then we have our dogs. Let's start with Zacian, <laughs> Sword Dog. This one is probably the stronger of the two. Let's take a look. So it is a V Pokemon Metal type coming in at 220 HP. That's pretty good. Intrepid Sword. This is pretty nuts. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck. Attach any metal energy cards you find there to this Pokemon. Put the other cards in your hand. Put the other cards in your hand. The only thing is that you know to kind of like balance that us up because essentially it's a draw three ramp as much as you can uh so it is fair that it ends your turn essentially it's kind of like a free attack um for z attack for zero but you know you can essentially like th i think the important thing here is that you can use abilities turn one you can't use attack so let's say you go first you can intrepid sword right away ramp up to three or maybe you just hit two maybe just hit one you only need to hit one. You energy for turn, you hopefully get one from Intrepid Sword, and then your Brave Blade is ready for next turn. Brave Blade, 230 damage. Can't use his turn. You can't use his attack next turn. There are obviously ways around it, just like all the other Pokemon that have this disclaimer. But hey, that Intrepid Sword ability, insane, especially if you're going first. Turn two, Brave Blade, 230. That's a pretty strong start to any match. And then of course we have Zamazenta. This is gonna be our last card for the video. Um, interesting, but I don't think it's quite as good as Zacian. Let's take a look at Zamazenta V coming at 230 HP. I mean, he has a shield for a face. I would think he has a little bit more HP than Zacian than just 10, right? Well, we have Dauntless Shield. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V Max. So, you know, it's kind of like, hey, uh, it's not too different than like Keldeo or uh, Alolan Persian. Basically, it's just got protection from the newest, you know, the newest, uh, strongest Pokemon, that th new v uh, three prize Pokemon that is V Max. Uh, on that though, it's not, it's kind of underwhelming. 230 HP is not bad. And then Assault Tackle, two Metal and a Colorless, only 130 damage. And, you know, if you're not fighting V Max, that, that just doesn't sound like enough. Uh, discard special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. I feel like this thing should have gotten a little bit more HP. I think its effect is fine. Maybe the Assault Tackle assault tackle sounds pretty weak and the fact that it's limited to special energy. Uh, I feel like if it was any kind of energy, that would kind of make this more on par with Zacian. This thing just feels straight up weaker than Zacian. But uh, yeah, when, you, when you're just defensing, <laughs> when you're face as a shield and I guess you can kind of expect stuff like that uh, so that's gonna be our last card for today and those are all the so far the leaked cards from sword and shield that really caught my eye as always guys let me know in a comment down below what your thoughts are and if what potential synergies you see between existing cards maybe cards we mentioned in yesterday's video and if you haven't seen that definitely go check it out all than that guys thanks for watching that's gonna be it for me today I'm a Wanda turtle and I'll catch you guys next time